Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine. So I've been doing this routine for a little while now. I know that, as you can see, my skin is not perfectly clear. I have a few breakouts in certain spots, but it's definitely improved my skin from how it used to be. I'll insert a picture here. Of how my skin used to be so obviously it's made a big difference I tried lots of different products and this is just what works best for me and I wanted to share it with you guys so if you guys are struggling with skin problems you can take some advice from this and I know that my skin could be a lot worse and I'm very grateful for how it is even though I have some breakouts first of all I have sensitive skin so that makes it even more difficult for me to find products that aren't going to irritate my skin so I actually tried Curology almost a year ago and it didn't really work for me maybe it's worked for some people but just for me personally it didn't so when that wasn't working I decided to go see a dermatologist and I actually went and I feel like doing that was a really great decision because I feel like that was the main reason why my skin is cleared up so much as well as like products from Lush. So going to the dermatologist and going to Lush have been the two biggest factors in my skin looking the way it does now compared to before. So I actually already uh, washed my skin this morning but we're just gonna do it again for the purpose of the video and it's not gonna hurt it. So I just always tie my hair back in like this little bun thing. I also do this like when I take tests at school. It's kind of cute so that is that yeah i'm in my bathroom right now if you couldn't tell i've just recently like within the past week started washing my face in the morning and the night and i feel like that's definitely helped so in the morning i keep it really simple just because i'm usually like on my way out the door like to go to school and i don't really want to like do a lot or like have a lot of time to do stuff this little face cleansing bar from lush i have it wrapped in the lush thing this one is the like a virgin that's the name of it and so you're gonna take this bar they have different like um scents and stuff but this is the one that i use and i really like it because they said it's like just a bar version kind of of ultra bland which is the other product i'm going to tell you guys about i've mentioned it a few times so you just like rub it all over your face and it's very moisturizing and it doesn't have like a super strong smell to it because this is the one that's like pretty bland which i actually like so once you have it like all over your face then i just like wrap it back up in a little package thing and like this i've used so many times i've had it for like i think at least a month now I just get this washcloth like wet like just a little bit damp you could do this with like cold or warm, warm water. I do it with cold water just because it takes a while for the hot water to heat up. So then once I have a little spot damp, I just like wipe it off. So the nice thing about this is that you don't have to like splash cold water on your face because I'm personally not a huge fan of doing that. So once you get that all rubbed off, I just like to like pat it dry a little bit with the dry part of the washcloth. So that is all I do in the mornings. Well, okay, also what I do, I don't know if you would count this as skincare, but I guess it's part of my face and skin. I use the Nivea Moisture Lip Care. Oh my gosh, my camera focused. I just use it every morning, every night. It's great. On to what I do at night. I don't wear makeup, so I don't like have to remove it with anything but on the days that i do wear makeup i use the garnier skin active micellar eye makeup remover pads so this is the kind that i use i really like them and they don't leave my skin like super oily at night i usually do this in the shower so i shower at night when i get home from practice 
and the nights that I actually shower at the pool and don't have my like skin products with me I'll just go in with the little blush bar thing again and I'll just do that at night again but on the majority of nights when I'm here showering at home I use my ultra bland facial cleanser that is what it looks like I used these two in the shower this morning because I actually showered in the morning today because it's Sunday this is what it looks like put that on my face just like a white layer of it and then I put this on top of that to so the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser and then I just wash that all off so I'm actually not going to show me using it because I already used it today and I'm not going to get in the shower so but those are the products that I use and I really recommend them to you guys this one is for normal to oily skin which is what my skin is and this one just says it's for all skin types so this product was actually prescribed to me so like can't really go out and buy it but I just recommend um, you guys see a dermatologist if you feel like you're really struggling to find a product that works for you because I feel like only using these products would probably help but not help as much as like using it along with this everyone has different skin types and different products are gonna work for different people so I just recommend seeing your dermatologist and asking them what would work best for you. So just a few nights a week, I use this on the areas that are like breaking out. Like for example, I'll use it right there. My skin was doing so well this week and then that just decided to show up. And I was like, dang it, I'm filling my skincare routine. But like, it just shows like my skin's not perfect. But it's definitely improved a ton since before I started using this routine. Occasionally, I don't do this as much as I should. But I will use a face mask. Last night I actually used like a sheet mask thing. But more often than that, I will use like Lush face masks. My favorite one is the cup of coffee face mask. It's like good for exfoliating, but then I feel like it's also does a really good job of like moisturizing and stuff. And then if you're wondering what I do for like a moisturizer, I don't really use a moisturizer because I feel like the ultra bland stuff and like the little bar that I use already have like so much moisture in it but if I really feel like my skin is like dry one day and I need more moisture I use the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion so I'll just put that on right now and I've been using that a little more recently just because like since it's winter my skin gets dried out a little bit more easily so that is my skincare routine i will leave a link down below to the products i mentioned for you guys so if you want to go try those out i would highly recommend it or just like try and figure out products that work best for you especially like for lush when you go in there and like tell them like what's going on with your skin and everything they're so helpful and so sweet and will help you find exactly what you are looking for to meet your needs for your skin i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go watch my other videos to comment like and subscribe if you enjoyed it turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a new video follow me on instagram at alex underscore because on there i let you guys know every time i've uploaded a new video so you will never miss one i really hope you guys enjoyed this skincare routine and hope you gained some advice from it that you can possibly implement into your own routine so i will see you guys in my next video bye